So here he is, folks, the Korean Superboy, Du Ho Choi. And you talk about vaulting into UFC superstardom, Joe. It did not take very long for the Korean Superboy to register on the radar of UFC fans around the world. Wasn't just the fight of the year against Cub Swanson. What he did even beforehand, sending bodies flying across the octagon, this is a man who many have pegged as a future UFC champion. This guy has one punch knockout power. And when a fighter has that kind of ability, it's always a big advantage. So here is John Moraga. He has been pretty consistent thus far in the UFC. Fought Demetrius Johnson for the belt back in 2013. Longtime staple of the MMA lab, still training there in Arizona under John Crouch. Big spot again here, Joe, for John Moraga tonight. This guy has the ability to take shots that would put other fighters out, absorb the punishment, and just with sheer toughness, come back from the brink of defeat and achieve victory. the tape for this heavyweight fight. Moraga is seven years his senior. Troy is four inches taller. He will have a four inch reach advantage. We send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Pete Lovey. And now, this is the moment you all from the sold-out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's the first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding the professional record of 14 wins, two losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting at a groovy South Korea, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. And now for his opponent, fighting at the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 19 wins, 7 losses. He stands 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting! Out of Phoenix, Arizona, John Morella! Okay, could take yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. This has been one of the most highly anticipated matchups for a long time. And ladies and gentlemen, strap yourselves in, because it's about to go down right now. Well, good to be back at the crew here in Newark, New Jersey, as we get underway. Well, largely in the UFC, John Moraga has won the fights that he is supposed to win. When he's been favored, he's come through. Oh, nice strike landed there by the Korean Super Bowl. All right, first round is underway, and you know what to look out for here. The powerful overhand punches. That is a big part of his game plan. Every time he makes this walk, it is his go-to punch. We'll see if he can find a home for it early tonight. Oh, effective strike there by Moraga. Oh, good left hand. There he swung with a haymaker. All of those are blocked. Nice punch by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, man, defensively leaving a lot to be desired there. He moved right into that hook. His head was wide open and there for the taking. Let's see if he can make some adjustments here moving forward. That one hurt. Good punch. Just misses with the left hook. And a 
good jab. Back and forth we go. Back to the left hand now, but unable to connect, Joe. Outstanding kick there by Moraga. Good defense to block the strike coming back. How clean is that jab by Choi? Joey missed with that straight right attempt. Ripped that hook to the body. Such good movement in there. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Moraga gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Watch the shot here, Joe. Good shot. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Moraga. Joy gets tagged again, Joe. Another punch to the head, another land for the opponent. Nice inside leg kick, not even telegraphed. Effective strike there by Choi. Looking to avoid that left hand. Moraga gets touched by that kick there. Just over two minutes, round one. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Well, he eats a punch to the head there, Joe, and he would be wide. Big yeah, shot to the head, he's stunned, he's feet. in trouble. He's clearly hurt. No! He hurt him with that hook. Right on the button. Another huge right. Hurt him with that right. Choi's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Kick lands for him there. Oh! Busy as he looks to improve position here. Hook in the clinch there is good by Choi. That knee might have landed there. And another knee. Well, you don't want to spend too much time fighting off of your back, Joe, but pretty good work here from the bottom by Moraga. Oh, another shot. He's hurt bad. He is rocked. Oh, solid jab. Seconds to go. Oh, he might be out. Huge uppercut misses. There's a nice inside leg kick. Tags him with the left. That shot is blocked by Moraga. Final seconds here in round one. He, he landed a left hand there. Second round, straight ahead. All right, so the round is over. There is the horn, but not before he got a huge knockdown. A great round from Cho. Huge knockdown. It was probably the most important aspect of that round and most likely won the round. Let's look at that from another angle. And let's look at that from a different angle. Brittany Palmer with us tonight. You ready? You ready? All right, let's get to round two. That last round was absolutely insane. Both guys hurt on multiple occasions. If they continue it this way in this round, someone's gonna get knocked out. Nice combination there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. 
much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Nice jab there by Morag. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Joe, pretty good head movement to slip that right hand. Choi's now dealing with a cheat cut. Oh, big shot. How about that chin? He faints with the kick. Using good footwork here, moving to the right, staying out of the power range of that big right hand. Moraga gets in the clinch. He pummels here, and now he's got double underhooks. Over, under, now in the clinch. And now he's got that tight clinch, Joe. Good opportunity to do significant damage here. Going orthodox now. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Well, he absorbs a kick to the head here, left it wide open. He's got to not move into that power shot. Let's see if he can adjust. Under three minutes now to go in round two. Oh! And just like He's that, out. the fight is over. Huge uppercut for the win. Well, Joe, you knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent. But that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. We can see it from another angle here. Here is the huge uppercut that lands right on the money and ends this fight. And let's see that again. Boom. So a strong candidate for some bonus money there. A huge knockout for him here tonight. Near perfect execution. They'll be talking about this result for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 10 seconds of round number two, to play the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Choi. So the Korean Super Boy, Du Ho Choi, with another highlight for the reel tonight. That reel's getting pretty crowded. Crazy to think this guy is just getting started. Maybe a few.